we are heading out to the town of Sasis. Is that how you pronounce it? No, but it's close. <laughs> Sasis, Sasis? Something like that. Yeah. So the tourism board in Riga set us up with a little meeting at a shop out there. It's supposed to have a bunch of little local items, foods, and I don't know, I guess goodies and stuff. And then there's also a castle that we've got to see while we're out yeah, there. That's gonna be sweet. Probably try to get some authentic Latvian food. Honestly, it's just gonna be nice to get out of the city for a while. Yeah, also, this city that we're going to is in the middle of a national park, so it should be really good views. So this town was originally built in the uh, 13th century and it's a lot of it's been rebuilt kind of over the years but it's got some really beautiful architecture buildings a lot of them similar to the style that we found in Riga but the place has a lot of charm it does not feel very touristy no. which is awesome all right guys now we have come to a shop called Chimene right <laughs> Almost close. there. <laughs> Chimene, yes. Chimene. And this is Leld. Hello. And she Hello. set up this amazing spread for us. We are going to try a bunch of local goodies, and I'm pretty friggin' excited about it. This all looks really interesting. She was just going like one by one and telling us what it's all about. Mm -hmm. In Rauna, they grow a lot of garlic, and they are very creative in using garlic. Mm -hmm. So these oh. are garlic candies. <gasps> no. And oh, uh, yeah. honey with garlic. So it's a little pink guy. <laughs> We're mm -hmm. not sure exactly what it is. <laughs> Can you tell it's garlic? It's definitely got a little hint of garlic in there. So it's not it's like sweet. overpowering. No, no, it's really sweet. It's fruity. Like almost like raspberry maybe? Could be raspberry, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can definitely get the garlic though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me That's give one of these so a try. That's so wild. That's there's, so funny. There's a little guy in here with a heart Aww. in it. I'm gonna give that guy a little try. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. This is such a unique little candy. It's all handwork. All of oh, stuff. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you get a ginger one? <laughs> I can taste it. <laughs> That's interesting. I which one you got. It's a little weird. Spicy? It's like I have a piece of candy in one side and a piece of garlic in the other. <laughs> because your tongue has like different uh, spots how to um, uh, feel taste, uh -huh. like sweet and sour and uh, salty, mm -hmm. has different points in your tongue. So when you eat that candy, it's like yeah. different points get activated and then it's this yeah. explosion of taste in your mouth. Definitely some of the most unique candy oh, I've wow. ever tried. I can smell the garlic <laughs> on your breath. I can smell it, yeah. I'm gonna try this one. Uh, I'm gonna say it's either uh, honey maybe or lemon. Are you guys ready? Oh <laughs> man, it's just garlic now. Mmm. It's very garlicky. <laughs> it almost tastes like garlic meat. Garlic meat. Garlic meat. <laughs> are crisps or chips so uh, onion chips carrot yeah red beet and um, kale okay. kale also grows here i'm thinking it's cheese and not more <gasps> garlic on top so these are like uh, kale chips mm -hmm. right? with the uh, like traditional yeast flavors mm. no uh, animal produce yeast. right uh -huh. okay oh yeah that is just kale and yeast but it's really good they're a little crispy, a little crunchy. You're gonna like it. Let me give this a try. This little piece has my name on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, ooh, those are mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. They really just kind of dissolve in your mouth. Yeah. Oh yeah, very lightly flavored. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. So this is, what is this? Beets. I think they're beets. Beets with. Yeah, so like beet chips, Yeah. basically. Those look pretty good. Ooh. Tastes like beets. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. these are sunflower seeds that are on the, the top of the uh, chips here. Just to give it more crunch. Mm -hmm. Some uh, mm -hmm. extra like uh, fatty acids, protein seeds. Yeah. Uh, Let's give this one that's got a bunch of seeds in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. And again, kids love them. Oh yeah, that's really good. They're eating chips yeah. as much as they want. A little bit sweet. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. You can keep it, keep these veggies through the winter. Like carrots, red beets, potatoes, and uh, so you got to be creative, mm -hmm. so you don't get you don't get bored. Yeah, mm, exactly. Yeah. So you prepare them in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are uh, black currant chips, basically. Um, what's the white stuff? Cookies. They're cookies. That okay. Is a little bit of coconut. A little bit of coconut on oh. top there. Okay, cool. Sounds pretty interesting. Oh, strong coconut smell. Yeah. <laughs> 
Coconut's something I'm like, uh, you know, so-so about. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, it's very like sticky. I Ooh. thought it would kind of break oh. apart. I guess it's all natural and not baked again, right? It's really tangy. It's a soil really hydrating. Okay. That is really nice. It's super tangy and the, um, the coconut's really subtle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna like this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That is really cool. I mean, it's a little chewy, but it's, it is kind of cookie textured. The coconut's really nice on top. So this is the uh, garlic honey? Yeah. The final thing we're gonna try. Well, you have to try this because you yeah, know I'll that try it. <laughs> I don't like honey, but I'm still doing it. it smells like honey. And does it smell garlicky? <laughs> Is it really garlicky? <laughs> oh, that's that's interesting. It's garlic honey. It's what <laughs> what it sounds like. Oh, let me try. Cool. It. I'm gonna try it now. I'm not looking forward to this one. It seems a little off. Let's stir it up. The, not my favorite. The, the trick is to stir it up, get it nice and stirred up in there. Oh, oh that's yeah. the trick. You gotta combine the uh, warring factions of garlic and honey. Oh, I see. You gotta call it a little truce before you put it, before you eat it. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> but do you feel healthier? I definitely feel. 65% healthier <laughs> in one spin of this stuff. We're not gonna get any colds this winter, thanks to... It's actually not that bad once you get past the interesting combination. I'm not gonna smell it, because that's gonna make me not want to try it, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, that's oh. an odd, odd taste. <laughs> I'm getting a strong garlic taste. <laughs> the honey doesn't help it? Mostly garlic. <laughs> it's like sweet, gooey garlic. Yeah. All right, well, I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is bee bite. basically the stuff that bees kind of dust off of themselves yeah, and they and collect it and then put it in yes. this form. And why the bee bread? Because they feed their babies with this. Oh, like the new newborns. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. So it's yeah. super healthy. It's almost like a vitamin. It kind of smells like a raisin. So just one bite, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Does it tastes like bees. <laughs> I don't love it. It is a very strange flavor. Yeah. So you just that, pop the whole yeah. thing in yeah. your mouth. Mm -hmm. All right, down the hatch. Shall <laughs> so I like, chew it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Right? That's different. It's maybe one of the most unique flavors I've ever had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Wow, it's tangy. Yeah, Real very, tangy like, and bitter at the same time. Yeah. It's almost, almost tastes like the smell of a farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got a, like a manure hint to it. Oh, oh. We tried tea called a pu'er. Tea yes. at a tea house, it's just like pu'er tea. Yeah. It's got that like musty essence, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's weird. It's like musty, Ooh. tangy, sweet, and bitter. It's like There's a every lot going on flavor. Yes, sour. Yeah, sour yeah tea. and it's got like the 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 texture of like an energy bar or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that ended up being an absolutely amazing experience. Oh my goodness. Got to try all kinds of unique stuff that flavor we had never tried explosions. before. Explosions. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> so many things that I just didn't really expect we were gonna try today. Yeah. But uh, then we ended up just spending some time chatting and learning about a lot of the different uh, things that she had in the store and all kinds of stuff from uh, from the surrounding area. It was really cool. And uh, she had a lot of uh, Russian stuff, or at least stuff that Nikita yeah. recognized. Yeah, it was awesome. Which is pretty neat. A little blast yeah. from the past. While we're here, we're gonna grab some postcards for our patrons. Um, at one of our tiers, we actually send postcards to you from wherever we are once a month. So if you'd like us to send a postcard to you, you can head over to our Patreon. There will be a link on the screen somewhere and in the description below where you can do that. There's also a bunch of other tiers with a bunch of other perks too. Yeah, but, but this I, is the coolest because you get a postcard with a little handwritten letter from us. Because you guys are so special. But please don't judge us by your handwriting. So we're just exploring the grounds around uh, Sace's castle. Um, you can go inside and do a tour of this epic structure, but we don't really have time because we have to catch a train in just a bit back to Riga. But it looks pretty dang cool.
We are back in Riga. The sun has just now started to set, or it's pretty much set at this point. Yeah, but, but the sky is beautiful. Yeah, it's created oh this gosh. beautiful like purple hue on the clouds. It's really nice. But we are going to head uh, to uh, dinner. We're going back to the restaurant we found the other day when we were exploring it's like Riga. A, a, a something, a, a, I can't remember. Tonight they should have some Latvian folk dancing at this restaurant. Yeah. We're also going to so, get some uh, Latvian dishes, yes, right, to try. There's this dish, gray peas, that comes with like bacon and cream, I think. And it just sounds too cool. I gotta try it. Yeah, so we're gonna give that a try, get a couple drinks, maybe get our Latvian and dance on, or at least watch Woo! people do it. It's gonna be a good night. It'll be good. All right, the food is here. We are starving. I got like a seasonal uh, saute skillet that has beef in there. We've got some garnish on the top, some tomatoes, a bunch of cheese. I think it's gonna be damn good. I got the traditional gray peas, which comes with bacon and cream sauce, but they're kind of brown peas, but I kind of, I read in advance that they're actually brown, but check these weird things out. <laughs> it's like, creamy like almost cheesy sauce and the it's like bacon and onions with the peas that is really really good I haven't gotten any of the bread yet but oh, I'm on board with the gray peas the rye bread is surprisingly good sometimes rye bread is overwhelming but in this it's a nice balance with the creamy cheese I'm digging it the bartender insisted we take a shot and he made it so beautiful for us. Check this out. It's the flag! Awesome. Guys, we did that thing again where we drink a little too much and don't do the end to the vlog. So, uh... <laughs> Oops, a daisy. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along and enjoying all those goofy Latvian treats that we tried and the uh, delicious gray peas that we tried at the bar afterwards. Oh, those things were so good. Yeah, watching it back, it was an awesome day. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious. But anyways, we're gonna leave you guys right here. Oh, by the way, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and there's a little bell next to it. If you turn that bell on, then you'll get notifications and you'll be the first one to be able to watch our videos and to comment on it, stuff like that. Yeah. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.